This video series will be on practical applications of Dynamo and this video is about how to modify a level tag annotation. Let me open a new Revit project with default metric template. In this video, we will create a Dynamo script to change the level tag annotations. At the end of this video, you will learn how to read a parameter value of an element, get a basic understanding on handling strings inside the Dynamo environment, and finally, how to update the parameter value of an element. To begin with, let's open an elevation view. These are the different elevations available in this particular project. And the level tag is created with the level name and elevation value. For this project, we will customize the level annotation using Dynamo. For example, we will change the level name to EL plus or minus 0.000 meters. So this is how we want the end result to look like. Let's do the same operation through Dynamo. Opening Dynamo from Manage tab in Revit. So to give an idea on how the script would work, I'll execute a script which I had already prepared. You can see that the level tags are updated automatically as per our requirement. Quickly let me undo all the changes that we made to this project and we will switch back to Dynamo. Before we start with the script, let me freeze the existing script so that it will not affect the Revit project. The first step would be to select the elements which are in focus. In Dynamo, we can select the model elements explicitly by using the Select Model Elements node. Here, you can notice that the level elements are selected. Or, you can further reduce the user intervention by selecting all the level elements in the current project. This can be done by using the Categories node and selecting the Level category. We can list out all the elements in the current project which belongs to the Level category by using the All Elements of Category node. If we run the script, we can notice that the output of both the nodes are same. In this exercise, we need to capture the elevation value of levels and update the value of name parameter. For doing this, we will get the value of elevation parameter by using get parameter value by name node. The level elements will be the input and the parameter name will be elevation. Since the parameter name is of type string, it is put within double quotes in a code block. Connecting the nodes. The elevation values are captured. Similarly, we will use set element parameter by name mode to update the name parameter value. Notes. Parameter name in this case would be name, putting it in double quotes. Let's change the connection. Now we need to work out the input for parameter value. As you can see, the elevation values are in millimeter. We need to convert these units to meters for this 
values convert between units node. The input parameter type is length and we are converting the units from millimeter to meter. Now we have got the elevation values in meter and also you can notice that the negative sign or the elevations which are below HGL is also captured. From this output we can extract the desired information that is the plus or minus sign, the elevation in meters and the trailing decimals. By using the absolute node we will convert the output to absolute values that is, we'll remove the sign before the numbers. Now we have got just the numbers. And we can split the numbers using split node. Here we will use dot as a string separator connecting the nodes. What we got here? Oh. Okay. So the input is supposed to be a string wherein the input what I had given is a double. So this must be the issue. And we can mitigate this by simply converting the double to a string. So this can be done using string to object mode. This will convert the output type from double to string. We can notice that the string is split at the decimal point. In this list, there are six digits after the decimal points. However, we need only the first three digits. To remove the extra characters, we can use string dot remove mode from the library nodes. It requires an input string, start index and count. In this case, the start index is 3 and the count as well is 3. Here we need to move the characters only from the items at index 1. So we will use get item at index node and list out the items which are 6 characters. Here we need to specify the level also and in this case it is L2. We have got the desired strings after the decimal point. To get the strings before the decimal point, we will once again use get item at index node. In this case, the index value is 0. Here again, we will use the levels and set it to L2. Before we proceed any further, let us take a look at the desired output string. That is EL plus or minus the elevation value followed by M. The only variable left is the sign value. For this, we will go back to the elevation values and capture the sign of the elevations. In Dynamo library, there is a node for math function called math.sign. We will use that node to capture the sign of the elevation values. We 
the negative values are identified by minus 1 and the positive values are identified as 1. Since zeros doesn't contain a sign, it is represented as 0 itself. With these values, we can build a simple if statement. The test condition for this if statement would be to check if the sign value is equal to minus 1. If the statement is true, then it will return a minus sign. Or if the statement is false, then it will return a plus sign. Now we have all the parts of the desired output. And we can generate the output string by uncatenating the opt-in string values. For this, we can use the add library mode or we can use a simple code block and build a syntax. Like el, the sign followed by the brackets, code brackets, plus the number which is before the decimal point then the decimal point and the number after the decimal point plus m symbol representing the minus. Connecting the nodes for their respective values. When we run this script, we can see that our syntax is built. Output string is ready. We will delete these unnecessary nodes which were created. Let's connect the output string to set parameter by name node and see if it works. Okay, we will execute the script now. Yes, and it works. So the 11 names are changed as per our requirement. Please leave your feedbacks if any. Thank you.